The stock market, a modern-day coliseum, gladiators in suits clash, fortunes are made and lost in the blink of an eye. It's a high-stakes game of chess played at warp speed, only the ruthless survive. The weak, they get trampled underfoot. Imagine a trading floor, phones ringing, screens flashing, brokers barking orders, the air crackles with tension, every tick of the clock brings new opportunities, new risks. One wrong move can spell disaster. This isn't some genteel investment club, this is the major leagues. The pressure is immense. The stakes are higher than high. Welcome to the world of high-frequency trading, where milliseconds mean millions. Time is the enemy. Every second counts. Information is king. Traders devour data searching for an edge. Charts, graphs, and news feeds flicker across their screens. They're looking for patterns, anomalies, anything that can give them an advantage. The pace is relentless. There's no time for second guessing. Decisions are made on instinct, honed by years of experience. Buy low, sell high. It sounds simple, but in the heat of the moment, it's anything but. The market doesn't wait for anyone. It's a beast that never sleeps, always moving, always evolving. Traders must adapt or die. The weak get left behind, their portfolios littered with the carcasses of bad bets. The market is a fickle beast. It can be unpredictable, often leaving even the most seasoned traders scratching their heads. Understanding its nature is crucial for anyone looking to navigate its turbulent waters. One day it's a raging bull, charging ahead with unstoppable momentum. The bull market is characterized by rising prices, increased investor confidence, and a general sense of optimism. During these times it seems like nothing can go wrong, and everyone is eager to jump on the bandwagon. The next, it's a lumbering bear, crushing everything in its path. A bear market, on the other hand, is marked by falling prices, widespread pessimism, and a lack of confidence among investors. It can be a time of great uncertainty and fear, as portfolios shrink and losses mount. Traders must learn to ride the waves anticipating the shifts and adjusting their strategies accordingly. This requires a deep understanding of market trends, economic indicators, and the ability to stay ahead of the curve. It's not just about reacting to changes, but about predicting them and positioning oneself to take advantage of the opportunities that arise. Volatility is the name of the game. It's the constant ebb and flow of the market that keeps traders on their toes. While it can be daunting, it's also what makes the market so exciting and full of potential. Sudden swings can make or break fortunes. A single event, whether it's a geopolitical crisis, an economic report, or even a natural disaster, can send the market into a frenzy. Traders must be prepared for these moments, ready to act swiftly and decisively. A single tweet, a whisper of bad news, can send shockwaves through the market. In today's digital age, information travels at the speed of light, and the market reacts just as quickly. Traders must stay informed, constantly monitoring news sources and social media for any signs of trouble. Traders must remain calm amidst the chaos, keeping their emotions in check. Panic is contagious. When fear takes hold, it can lead to irrational decisions and costly mistakes. Successful traders know the importance of maintaining a level head, even when the market is in turmoil. Fear can spread like wildfire. Successful traders know this. They understand that emotions can cloud judgment and lead to poor decision making. By staying calm and focused, they can navigate the storm and come out on top. They stay disciplined, sticking to their plans even when the going gets tough. Discipline is key in trading. It means having a clear strategy, setting goals, and not deviating from the plan, no matter how tempting it may be to do so. They understand that volatility is inevitable, but panic is a choice. By accepting that the market will always have its ups and downs, traders can focus on what they can control, their own actions and reactions. In the end, it's not about avoiding volatility, but about managing it effectively. Every trader has a strategy. Some favor fundamental analysis, poring over financial statements and economic indicators. Others rely on technical analysis, studying charts and patterns to predict future price movements. There are as many strategies as there are stars in the sky. Value investing, growth investing, momentum trading, arbitrage, the list goes on. The key is to find a strategy that suits your personality, your risk tolerance, and your financial goals. But a strategy is only as good as its execution. Discipline is key. Traders must stick to their plans even when their gut tells them otherwise. Emotions are the enemy of sound decision making. The stock market is a vast ocean teeming with life. 
It's a dynamic and complex ecosystem where various players interact, each with their own strategies and goals. Just like in the ocean, there are different levels of influence and power among the participants. There are whales, the institutional investors, the hedge funds, the big banks who move billions of dollars with a single trade. These entities have immense resources at their disposal, including advanced technology, vast amounts of data, and teams of experts analyzing every market move. Their trades can cause significant ripples, affecting stock prices and market trends. And then there's the plankton, the individual investors, the day traders, the small fry. These are the everyday people who buy and sell stocks hoping to grow their savings or make a quick profit. They don't have the same resources as the whales but they bring diversity and liquidity to the market. The whales have the size and the resources to move markets. Their decisions are often based on long-term strategies and deep analysis. When they buy or sell large quantities of stock, it can lead to significant price changes, influencing the market's direction. They can make or break companies with their investment decisions. A large investment from an institutional investor can boost a company's stock price, providing it with the capital needed for growth and expansion. Conversely, if they pull out, it can lead to a sharp decline in the stock's value, potentially causing financial distress for the company. The plankton, on the other hand, are at the mercy of the currents. They must navigate the market's ups and downs, often reacting to the moves made by the larger players. Their success depends on their ability to adapt quickly to changing conditions and make informed decisions. They must be nimble, quick, and adaptable to survive. Day traders in particular thrive on volatility, making rapid trades to capitalize on short-term price movements. They rely on technical analysis, market news, and their instincts to make split-second decisions. But even the smallest fish can have an impact. Individual investors, when acting collectively, can influence stock prices and market trends. Their combined actions can create significant buying or selling pressure, leading to noticeable changes in the market. Collective action can create waves. When individual investors band together, they can challenge the dominance of institutional players. This has been seen in recent years with the rise of online communities and forums where investors share information and strategies. The rise of social media has given individual investors a voice, a platform to share information and coordinate their trades. Platforms like Reddit, Twitter, and Discord have become hubs for investor collaboration, enabling them to pool their resources and influence the market in ways that were previously unimaginable. This democratization of information has leveled the playing field, allowing smaller investors to have a say in the market's direction. In this ever-evolving ecosystem, the interplay between the whales and the plankton creates a dynamic and vibrant market. Each player, regardless of size, contributes to the overall health and functionality of the stock market. Understanding the roles and interactions of these players is crucial for anyone looking to navigate the financial seas successfully. Whether you're a seasoned investor or just starting out, recognizing the influence of both the large and small players can help you make more informed decisions. The stock market is a place where fortunes can be made and lost, and knowledge is your most valuable asset. So, as you dive into the world of stocks, remember that it's not just about the big fish. Every participant from the largest whale to the tiniest plankton plays a part in this intricate and fascinating ecosystem. Embrace the diversity, stay informed, and navigate wisely. Trading is as much a psychological game as it is a financial one. The stock market is a complex ecosystem where emotions play a significant role. Understanding these emotions can be the key to becoming a successful trader. Fear and greed are the two primary emotions that drive the market. Fear can paralyze traders, making them hesitant to take action while greed can push them to take excessive risks. Fear can lead to panic selling, driving prices down. When traders see the market dropping, their instinct is to sell to avoid further losses. This creates a domino effect, causing prices to plummet even more. On the other hand, greed can lead to irrational exuberance, inflating bubbles that eventually burst. When traders are driven by greed, they may ignore warning signs and continue to buy, pushing prices to unsustainable levels. This can result in a market bubble that is bound to burst, leading to significant losses. Successful traders understand this delicate balance. They learn to control their emotions, to make rational decisions based on logic and analysis, not gut feeling. They develop strategies to manage their fear and greed, ensuring that these emotions do not cloud their judgment. 
They know that the market is driven by human behavior, with all its flaws and biases. Human behavior is often unpredictable, and the market reflects this unpredictability. By studying patterns in human behavior, traders can gain insights into market movements. They also understand the importance of psychology. The field of behavioral finance explores how psychological factors influence financial decisions. By understanding these factors, traders can better predict market trends and make more informed decisions. They study behavioral economics, learning to recognize patterns in market sentiment. Behavioral economics combines insights from psychology and economics to explain why people sometimes make irrational financial decisions. By recognizing these patterns, traders can anticipate market movements and adjust their strategies accordingly. They know that the crowd is often wrong, and they're willing to bet against it. This contrarian approach can be highly profitable as it allows traders to capitalize on the mistakes of others. By going against the grain, they can find opportunities that others might overlook. History is filled with examples of market crashes and recoveries, each driven by the collective emotions of traders. By studying these historical events, traders can learn valuable lessons about the impact of fear and greed on the market. In addition to understanding psychology, successful traders also use technical analysis tools to guide their decisions. These tools help them identify trends and patterns in market data, providing a more objective basis for their trades. Staying informed about financial news and global events is also crucial. News can have a significant impact on market sentiment, and being aware of current events allows traders to react quickly to changes in the market. Many successful traders maintain a trading journal, where they record their trades and reflect on their decisions. This practice helps them learn from their mistakes and continuously improve their strategies. Some traders even practice mindfulness or meditation to help manage their emotions. By staying calm and focused, they can make more rational decisions and avoid being swayed by fear or greed. Ultimately, the key to successful trading lies in understanding both the financial and psychological aspects of the market. By combining technical analysis with a deep understanding of human behavior, traders can navigate the complexities of the market and make more informed decisions. In the end, mastering the psychology of decision-making can give traders a significant edge, helping them to stay ahead of the market and achieve their financial goals. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and comment. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell to keep up with the latest content.